In this video, we'll take a look at a second example of running the Dependent Samples t-test in SPSS. In this example, we asked people to rate their openness to using e-texts in the classroom. And here we asked people in their freshman year, how open are you to using e-texts in the classroom? So electronic texts instead of irregular physical textbooks. And the, their responses could range from 1 to 10, where 1 indicated they were not at all open to using e-texts, when 10 indicated they were very much open to using e-texts in the classroom. And then in their senior year, they were asked the same question again. And the question here in this hypothetical example is, do people's opinions change towards using e-texts from their freshman to their senior years? Notice here in this example, that the first person answered a 3 as a freshman, indicating that they weren't really very open to using e-texts. And then as a senior, they answered a 7. So it appears that they were much more open to using e-texts four years later. The second person answered a 4, and then a 5. The third person answered a 1. They weren't at all open to using e-texts as a freshman. And then they answered a 5 as a senior. So we want to see whether people's opinions change over time, that is from freshman year to senior year. So to do that, we'll run the dependent samples t-test as these two scores are naturally related or dependent, as they're produced by the same person, as this is person 1, this is person 2, and so on. So to run the dependent samples t-test in SPSS, we want to go to Analyze, Compare Means, and then Paired Samples t-test. And the Paired Samples t-test dialog box opens, and you should see Freshman already selected. Go ahead and click the right arrow button to move it over to Variable 1. And then click on Senior, and click the right arrow button to move that over to Variable 2. And then click OK. And here we see in our Paired Samples Statistics table that Freshman had a mean openness rating of 3.4, whereas Seniors had a mean openness rating of 5.9. So you can see here that in the sample, at least, of 10 people, the ratings increased 2.5 points over the four years in college. Next, we'll go ahead and skip this paired samples correlations table, as it doesn't really pertain to our analysis here. And then we'll move down to the paired samples test table. And I'll double click on that, and it opens it up. And notice here, first of all, we have a mean of negative 2.5. Recall that SPSS takes freshman minus senior. So if the senior mean is higher, it's going to result in a negative value here. Or in other words, it's 3.4 minus 5.9. And that's why we have negative 2.5 here. But what we want to do is zero in here on the p-value as always. And we'll apply our decision rule to see whether or not the test is statistically significant. And here we'll use alpha 0.05 and a two-tailed test. And we'll use the two-tailed test to allow for opinions to either be more open over time towards e-texts, or perhaps to be less open over time towards e-texts. And remember, these decisions are always made before the study was began. So alpha 0.05 two-tailed. And using that, 